Okay guys, so this is our pathway to the to our campsite. Uh, we're just gonna walk down through here first, check it out, and then we'll come back and get our stuff. Something swimming around there. We have the whole island to ourselves this weekend. Yeah. Don't we? Yeah. Yeah, he said the water was way up. Yeah, he was lying, wasn't he? It just stopped raining here. Yeah, it just stopped raining, so. <laughs> and these are the decks where we put our tents up. 16 by 16 I think he's I think is what these are and we're number three where's the numbers at <laughs> I think this would probably be three right <laughs> so here we have a barbecue grill we have restrooms and we have a little kitchenette That's cool. the refrigerator that is working is there any wood? a little hot plate we can bring that wood. over at the wherever the wherever the fire pit is fire probably pit. oh there's the fire pit so anyway, it's starting to rain. I'm guessing this is number three. I I don't know. I'll have to look at the map. I guess I'm figuring that's one, two, and I'm figuring this is three. Okay, we got electric. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, the water's way up. There's like a little channel over there. He said we might be able to get the boat up in there. <laughs> so, he said we might be able to get Wi-Fi out here. Mm -hmm. There's a big hammock, honey. Yeah, I see that. <clears throat> but, I don't see much wood and I didn't bring any wood. So. But this is cool. A lot of electric places to plug our stuff in. So I'm guessing this is three. It's not numbered, but I'll look at the map. So, well, that one had a light on. Huh? That one had the light on. You you turned this one on or did No, come they're on? all on. Oh. Hmm. They're all on. So yeah, he said usually this is just all woods back through here because yeah. the rivers. Right That's over how there. high it's gotten. That's how high the river's gotten. But we should be alright. Yeah. So okay, well let's go get our things. Yay! Yay! Alright guys. We're pretty much set up now. We got we got the tent set up behind me as you can see. And like I said before, the river's just beyond them trees there. That's why we're getting so much water here. Should be okay. Um, I am cooking some sausage right there on our Coleman stove uh, like I said big old hammock right here and like I said we have the place to ourselves so far this weekend where we got the whole island and that's again the little kitchen that so got a microwave stove big spider in the stove or not in the stove uh, sink <laughs> And a little refrigerator, so we got some stuff in the refrigerator. Hope, hopefully that spider will get out of the sink. And I'm filming monkey. Say hi, monk. Hi. 
You like it so far? Oh yeah, I think it's cool a little place. Yeah, it's neat because there's really only what four? I thought you said there were six here, didn't you? No. Yeah, it's just four. There's four. Yeah. It'd be a great place for a family reunion and uh, yeah. Yeah, because I think you could probably rent these. Oh yeah, yeah. So. I think it's a nice little place. The clubhouse is beautiful. Yeah, it's nice in there, and they got arcades, and they got ping pong, and they got pool, pool table. Yeah, they got ping pong, pool table. They have one arcade machine, but it plays like a, a whole bunch, bunch of, of the old stuff, like Frogger and Pac-Man, Pac-Man, and all that. So that's cool. We may yeah. check that out. I'm not sure what time they close. Right. So. Oh, I think it's a cute little place. Uh, you know, he it's mostly the water's not up this high most of the time, so no, there's trails back through there. Yeah, so but I was just going to say the bad thing is we're so close to the river, we're going to hear the airboats. We are kind of close to the highway, but that's not so bad. But the airboats, yeah, we hear them at our house, yeah, yeah, so we're just not this, hear them, yeah, yeah, just not this loud, but that's okay. I mean. guy yeah he even came around on the golf cart make sure we was okay make sure we didn't need anything so yeah, yeah. Oh, that's nice and I did bring my screw gun and a couple screws to uh, to screw help hold the the tent down I mean it's not really going to blow away especially if we're in it but uh, just for a little extra precaution mostly to hold the dining or the rain fly on right um, but yeah so this this place is pretty big in the bathroom? We do a have a bathroom now. Usually, I don't do this, but I thought this was pretty cool. Um, you know, a bathroom is a bathroom is a bathroom, but this little tiny bathroom here also has a shower. So, I like that. Place to sit down, and it's, it's cleaner than some motels I've been in in my life, let me tell you. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, the sink, commode, of course, but... Yeah, so I thought that was neat that there's a shower right in there. And here, here's another look at this. So I wonder if that spider got out of there. No, he's right down there in the bottom. And can't wash down because of that. I don't know. There's some alcohol up here. Maybe I'll dump some alcohol on him. He's huge. Maybe he died. He was moving around. But uh, we got access to this. You just got to clean up after yourself. That's all. No biggie. Um, I'm not sure what you hook into these speakers. Same style I got in the garage, except for, uh, you know, mine's double. Uh, so, and there's some pictures. I know you can't see them right now, but we do have a microwave again, so cute little kitchenette there's our light switches and fans I plugged that in I wish that thing would work because I'm sure we'll get some mosquitoes from all yeah. this rain but that's you know that's not their fault no <laughs> you know I mean we're on the You're water in the woods and this yeah. is what you get so yeah. we got some spray though and yeah we just so. have to make sure we keep the tent closed as much as possible yep yeah. So we don't get anything. But we'll I keep, think it's a cute little yeah, thing. Yeah, we'll keep our stuff right here. I can here. tell them worst comes to worst, we can always sleep on the hammock. Yeah, the hammock is a very, a very nice hammock. Yep. Huge. Yeah. You could fit probably three people, three smaller people in there. Yeah. Two bigger people, so. Yeah, so cool, guys. And the fire pit? Now once, yeah. We're not going to be building a fire tonight anyway because everything's so damn wet. Yeah. But I am going to try to, but I am going to go over to the dock, check the dock out, and I'm going to do some fishing over there. So, it's 
It's night fishing night. I doubt if I film any of that, but this is just the first day, so yeah. So it, it is. It is really cool. I like to see it when the water's down and when it's not so rainy. Yeah. But you know, it's all part of it. I gotta go get my phone. Yeah, get it. Yeah, if you want, or monkey. Monkey's gonna spray. go get my phone. She's gonna go get the spray. And I'm just gonna see. He said we might be able to pick up Wi-Fi out here. Yeah. So if we do, that'd be that would be super. Yeah. Um, we are on a little island. So hopefully, yeah, if we get Wi-Fi, that'd be awesome. We can do our live stream out here tomorrow. Bring my cord so I can plug in my phone. Yeah, out here tomorrow night, you know. Yeah, it'd be great. So yeah. It's fabulous. All right, we'll be back with you. I got some cooking to do. Right. Okay, guys. So we're back. Uh, I grabbed a little bit of wood. Uh, I caught one fish. They were biting like crazy, but so I grabbed just a few pieces of wood and I told her I said we'll have a little bit of we'll have a little fire before we get to bed she's like oh okay got in the truck she started truck up I looked at the clock it was only 10 55 <laughs> I was like shit I should have grabbed some more wood but we got a fire going yeah I think soaking wet but we got it going come on yeah we got it going yeah so well you got it going you worked hard for it too well everything's wet but we yeah. got it the, the, <laughs> The main thing is, is I got it going. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. So that's pretty much the end of night one. Huh. Yeah. We got here 5.30. Did we? Yeah. We got here 5.30, so what, what time is it now? Mm, let me see. Oh. 11.57. 11.57, so it took me about 50 minutes to get that fire going like that, so. Yeah, well, we had a bad downpour before we got here. Yeah, it was. All yeah. the wood got wet. Yeah, everything's wet, but. At least I have we, wood here for you. Yeah. That's nice. We don't have any here, though. No. We got to go on the other side of the thing and, and yeah. get it. There's plenty over there. I think they just didn't bring any, so. Alright. I'll get some tomorrow, though. Yeah. Yeah. Just put it in the back of the truck and I'll walk it back here. Yeah. It's so, anyway, that's what, we're, that's what we're doing, so. It's a little walk, but not a bad one. Not like at the other campground. Well, for me, though, it's not it's real good. It's harder on you, yeah. I mean. But so. At least we have the bathroom right here if we need yeah. it. I call this glamping. I'm really not into this, but this is kind of what we were stuck with. So, I'm glad we came though. Yeah. It's nice. I'll come back again, yeah. It's yeah. nice having the amenities, but it's kind of like you're in your backyard, really. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know. Yeah. But that's okay. I mean, it's still, it's a nice place. They thought of everything here. Mm hmm So, yeah, really cool. All right, I'll be back with you before we go to sleep. Okay, guys, so... This is end of day one. I just had my shower. Monkey's getting hers right now, and I thought I'd lay down here in the hammock. I got me a little chain. Right here, I can pull one and rock myself. Ah, ended up getting a good fire going. And uh, there we go. Ah, this is nice feels good all I need is a pillow yeah it's nice out here definitely I would come back again um, but uh, but like I said everything you know like everything's wet but you know and it's kind of flooded back behind the tent area but that's okay you know they can't help that and we've been getting a lot of rain and the river runs that way so the river runs north yeah, I know it goes clear up into Georgia because uh, the spook bridge video we did that was actually that bridge actually goes over this river the with Lacoochee River I don't know how far south it goes or how far north it goes but it flows north so anybody gets rain down just south of us you know if they get a lot of rain and we don't or you know our rivers gonna rise up here so you know um but we got 
yeah it was 5 30 when we got here so day one actually evening one you might as well say because like i said we got here we got the tent set up we beat the rain on that when we went down to go fishing man there was a lot of a lot of pretty stars out a couple clouds but they weren't rain clouds uh you could see right through them and uh, i saw a shooting star so that's pretty cool i haven't seen any wildlife yet so bruno he's in the tent he's he's exhausted he's out he's sleeping so yeah so yeah that's a nice nice place if you guys are ever in this area you know if you're into this kind of thing yeah i recommend it highly recommend it it's it's nice they also they also have the rv section you can bring your rvs and also the cabins are very very nice very nice cabins little chalets like but they are very very nice um like i said you got wi-fi here and i kind of call this glamping because it's glamorous camping you know it's kind of like in your like if he's camping in your backyard only you are out and you are away from your house so that's good but uh which i'm usually not into but like i said this was kind of the spur of the moment thing and we saw a youtube video on it and i said hey i told her i said i know where that is and i told her she goes oh yeah that's right so we thought we'd try it out we've always been talking about well first time i had mentioned it she was like it's too close to the house i said no it's not you're still getting out but i highly recommend it this is awesome man uh inverness inverness florida um so yeah i highly recommend it uh the manager very nice very nice people uh very nice place here they are pet friendly so that's good but yeah this is this is really nice i mean for a break to to get away and you're not in your backyard and you got all these amenities you know we got we got power right behind the tent each one of the the tent spaces has power right behind it so you can just plug in and put a light which i'm going to bring a light tomorrow and i mean why use battery why use our batteries and and our uh our gas for the lantern if there's power there might as well use it so we're still sleeping in the tent so and one, one good thing i like about this too as well is that you know you you've, you got some shelter if it does come down a bad a bad storm and also you can you know just go up go up to the clubhouse and go in the clubhouse if you have to so yeah um you're close to a gas station if you need to get some supplies and stuff so anyway i'm gonna say good night for now as she comes out i figure i don't know i'll probably get a snack and then we'll probably go into the tent and i figure she'll be out <laughs> I think Bruno, he's sleeping. I thought I heard him snoring in there a couple minutes ago. So, all right, guys, stay tuned for day two. Uh, for us, it'll be several hours, but for you, it'll be just a minute. And we're going to start out day two. Uh, I don't know if she wants to have breakfast first. Uh, we'll probably start out making breakfast and coffee for her, and then we'll go get the boat. So, good night, guys. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning, everyone. It's like. 7 35 in the morning and we have a beautiful day you look up there in the sky behind me a couple little clouds but no rain clouds so gonna be a nice day today i'm gonna get some breakfast on i slept pretty good i watched uh i watched some videos watched a couple videos last night before i went to bed and I went to bed about, it was after three o'clock. So, uh, but I slept pretty good after I did get to sleep. Um, I think I just seen a squirrel over there. So, yeah, it's gonna be a great day. I'm gonna get some breakfast on. I'll make her some bacon and eggs and we'll get some uh she's gonna have her coffee i'm gonna have a coat we'll go get the boat sometime this morning 
grab a couple other things we forgot and uh, go from there see what's happening so stay tuned for more fun guys Okay guys, it is 1.39 in the afternoon. We've had the boat out for a few hours. Went way up the river and uh, we kind of trawled most of the way up and then we used the, the motor coming back, uh, the gas motor coming back. Had a great time, pretty much got all the holes sealed well, they weren't holes, the rivets sealed up in the boat, so that's good. Now, I didn't film any of that because I still <laughs> haven't had the balls to bring this $1,000 camera onto the boat in case something happens. Now, I did have the JVC, and Monkey had her camera, so I was like, yeah, because, um, you know, we're down here by the docks where we parked the boat. She parked the truck and I came and got her because I had to put in up, up the river up here. And I came, <laughs> me and Bruno beat her here. Uh, so anyway, she was like, well, you wanna bring the JVC? I'm like, well, yeah, I'll bring that thing. You know, I gave 20 bucks for it. Yeah, I'll bring the JVC. No memory card. Well, she's got an extra memory card for her camera. And uh, I put it in there. And it said memory card error son of a so and i couldn't find the option to uh format the card so what i'm going to do is monkey's carrying wood back for me this is still still burning from last night believe it or not see the smoke uh she already made a couple trips she's coming back see right up up there's the truck right through Right through here's the where the hell anyway right through there somewhere's the damn truck so but yeah that's a truck so she's she's bringing the last thing of wood here she comes here and I'm going to start a fire and start the chili so I can let it simmer for a few hours. There she is. She just made three trips, bless her heart. So, anyway, I'm going to get a fire going. And I'm going to make the chili. Uh, I don't know if she remembered the cutting board or not because I damn sure didn't. Uh, when we went and got the boat, because <laughs> I forgot all my seasonings too. I was like, well, shit. So when we went and got the boat, um, we picked up, I brought a fan. Um, oh, they're here somewhere. Anyway, I brought, brought, we brought the seasoning, so we're good to go with that. Well, they were in here somewhere. I carried them, so. All right, so anyhow, we got them. Uh, I didn't have oil, so we remember to bring oil this time. But if we don't have a cutting board, uh, I'll just use the top of this or something. It's no big deal. So, there's Monkey. Monkey made it back. Third trip, huh, Monkey? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, well, I'm going to start a fire. Yeah. And that way it'll get burnt down and stuff. And so I can put our big pot on and make our chili. 
All right, guys, I'll be back with you. Okay, so if you guys haven't paused the video already and commented, you're not supposed to cook that kind of stuff in a cast iron pan, already know it. Don't worry about it, okay? For those of you that did, re-comment and say, oh, sorry, should have watched the whole video. But anyway, I know that. And for those of you that don't know, a lot of people don't know, anything acidic, like tomato juice or anything like that, spaghetti sauce, you're not supposed to put in cast iron it doesn't hurt it as long as once you are done cooking whatever you're cooking clean it out and season it up oil it up you'll be fine but don't let it don't you know wash it with soap and water it's going to flash rust on you just rinse it out with water wipe it down set it on a warm stove for a couple minutes make sure it dries real good smear some oil on it you'll be good just wanted to throw that in there by the way I got a fishing pole laying right there in that little shallow water and it started taking off on me didn't it yeah i was over here half asleep on the hammock and she's like your pole's moving <laughs> instead of getting up and running over hey your pole it's gonna be gone and i went over i got it but then he spit it spit the hook out because i didn't really get to set it he was going with it though he's i seen him he's about this long yeah that water's only about that deep in there so thought that was pretty cool story time yeah yeah bear story time uh oh you know what I'm talking about in the tent last night? Oh. Okay, so. <laughs> you know. <laughs> if you guys see a bear or something, you, you know, if you're walking through the woods, you say, hey, bear, you bear, you know, stuff like that. So they can hear you coming and shit. <laughs> I thought I heard a bear snorting last night, right? <laughs> so I started going, hey, bear, yo, bear. And I looked this way over towards her way on my left and she had woke up and I realized it was her snoring <laughs> and she was like what what is there a bear I said I started laughing she's like what what's going on and I told her <laughs> this was like three o'clock in the morning <laughs> I, I thought there was a bear out here because you know we're out in the wilderness yeah <laughs> so <laughs> And it was her snore, and I'm going, Bear! Hey, Bear! 
Yo, bear! <laughs> Problem is, there will be a bear, and you'll think it's me. No, I, I'm pretty careful about that. <laughs> and she beat me up. Did I beat you up? Yeah. In my sleep? Let one little stinker inside the tent. <laughs> and she goes all Bruce Lee on me. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, that's our story time. I see mon monkeys already munching. Mm-hmm. How is it, Monk? It's good. I only have one spoon. She gave it to me. <laughs> we forgot spoons. We need to get another set of these. Yeah. Yeah. These, it come, came in a camping set. You just, it's, it's got a fork, which she's, you no, know, the fork's over there, and then a knife clips together, comes in a plastic, a plastic pouch. Yeah. Very nice. We need to find another set like this. Yeah, I think we got that yard sailing, didn't we? You picked it up somewhere. Yeah. Might have been a yard sale or a second hand thrift shop or something. Yeah. Again, I gave it like two dollars for it. Yeah. I did a review on it. I forgot the mozzarella cheese. I was gonna have her she she had she ran in to get to get a cutting board. Just right up the road here, some uh, water, drinking water, and I forgot to tell her to get mozzarella cheese. So like every time I get on the hammock over there, something <laughs> goes wrong. I lay down there, you know, I got my chain so I can swing myself. Just started swinging. Hey honey, where's your pole? I'm like, it's over there on that deck. No, it ain't. <laughs> Something pulled it in the water. I could reach it though. Yeah, it goes laying in the water. Yeah. Something yanked it in the water. Mm. Pretty good. Uh huh. Pretty good. Now, I showed you everything I put in here, right? But, but one thing. The thing that I dumped in, in the silver little bowl, the first person to guess that right gets a shout out on the next video. First person to get that right to guess what it is a seasoning. Yeah. It's not homemade. So, think about it. Let me know what you think it is. If you get it right, I'll give you a shout out. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so we're just kind of waiting on time to uh, do our live stream. Maybe I'll have time to take a nap. I want to move the boat over here. Yeah. For tonight, so. It's right behind where the manager lives, so. Yeah. They said they don't have a problem with us parking it there. But they said you might want to make a sign that says private or something because one time somebody rented one of their boats and some somebody else had their boat parked out there. The idiots that rented the boat just went down and picked that boat, which was one of the other renters. Yeah. They come out and get on their boat and it's gone. Yeah. They're like, how did you not know? You know, their, their boats are identical. <laughs> yeah. And I think they have the, she said they had stickers on their boats. Yeah, so, I mean, <laughs> mm. I don't know. Crazy stuff. Yeah. How is it, monkey? Very good. Mm -hmm. I was right. I told her she was in for a treat. Mm -hmm. Gotta have a lot of meat in here, man. I put in, what was that? Almost two pounds, I believe. Almost two pounds? Mm -hmm. Yeah, about two pounds I put in there. Yeah. If it was me, I would have put more. I would put another half a pound of meat and only one can of beans. <laughs> she likes beans, so. Yeah. Gotta have beans with chili. Gotta have meat with chili. You gotta have oh, seasoning both. with chili. Yeah. Remember, mm -hmm. try to guess what that red stuff was. Mmm. Mm. Very good. good. Mm. <laughs> 
We do that all the time. Every day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it turned out nice. Yeah. Like I, like I said, that yeah, these cast irons you're not supposed to put any acidic anything like that in here, spaghetti sauce or whatever. But like I said, you cleaned out once you're done. Oil it up. It'll be fine, you know. Yeah. Don't just wash it out with soap and water and then put it away because it'll flash rust on you. But because it eats away your seasoning, and you got to re-season it. But if you take care of it immediately, it's fine. I've seen people doing chili. Oh, look at the old cowboy movies. They got a big pot of chili in them thing there. Mm -hmm. You know. That's true. Soup beans, that ain't no, that's that's not a problem. You got all the beef stew. That's no problem. But, yeah, I mean, people use these things to make big pots of chili all the time. You know, especially, even nowadays, you know, the cowboys running the cattle out on the ranches. You know, mm -hmm. to cook, you will know, boil a big, big pot of chili up for them. Yeah. They come in come in from riding the fences or whatever they're doing, you know. Yeah, make sure you spice it up. Mm -hmm. uh, if, it was, if this was just for me, I would add a lot more spice, but I don't think she can handle it. <laughs> We'll be back with you guys. Good morning, guys. This is day three. On well, Friday, we wasn't here all day, but and tomorrow we're not going to be here all day. But this is our last all day here. It's about 9.30 right now. Monkey's making breakfast. But if you look, there's the fire. There's the pan. <laughs> so here's some of the cam the cabins up through here. And this is where you can park your your boat trailers and stuff. There's a boat right over there. Look at that cute little trailer. Isn't that a cute trailer? Isn't that cute? Yeah. That is our trailer. <laughs> These are some of the cabins. Shady in here. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Our boat's parked right there. Right there. Oh, that's nice. oh, yeah. You want to get down there and check the boat? Yeah. Let me see wanna, the entrance. I want to go up here and see my Okay, so we're going to cut down here. I'll let you go that way. i got to go this way. Alright. And I'll meet you down at the other end. So our boat is parked right back here behind this building. We got a place for the kids to play. This is the clubhouse. Washers and dryers, of course. Folding table. This is very nice up through here. Sound system. Cool. Nah, he don't sing anymore. Let's see if this one sings. Nope. You get your little sink here. We got access to this. 
Nice seating area. There's the life jackets for their boats. And these are their two of their rental boats here. Of course, this is our boat. We got a couple kayaks and three canoes up there. This is our boat here. So I'm gonna go in and check and see if it took on any water. There's a shell. Oh. Seems to be pretty dry. Just a tiny bit. I think that's what I came in with last night, that little bit of water there, so it's probably not even enough to pump it out. And our campsite is right through them trees right over there. So. So like I said on the live stream, they said, sure, you can park there. Just put a sign up. So I made that sign because somebody took off on somebody's boat one time. And there's their boats. They got trawling motors on them and oars. Now see, see how these oars are right here? See how they connect in there? That is what those pieces are there, there are for. Right there. That's what those are for, they're oar holders hold your oars so they've got their emergency whistles on here monkey's got one of them uh, it's in a container under one of the, one of the seats so that yeah, boat looks all right it's gonna look better cuz here very very soon I'll be making doing some videos on it we're gonna pull the motors off get everything out of it we're gonna flip it over Scrape all the old paint off, seal it up real good, repaint it, and I'm going to rebuild the lower unit on that thing, or at least put new seals in it. There, monkey. She's filming us, filming her filming us, if that makes sense, which it does if you think about it. I'm getting a little bored. <laughs> Get it? Uh. Bored. Now, straight ahead here is where we go fishing at night. And I'll take you around there. I'll show you where we docked our boat yesterday. You got these little cabins. Yeah. They're actually trailers. They're trailered in. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool how they make them. I'd like to go in little one gazebo of gazebo back there. To see, you know, exactly see how they are. Well, I mean, I saw it on uh, YouTube with that girl, but, you know, it's nice to see. Yeah, they have a gazebo back here you can sit. Yep. Yeah, so that's nice too. A little archway there. Gazebo, you can go back there and sit right on the water. And that, th this is with Lakuchi River, and that waterway so right through there cave. is um, Cypress Creek. <laughs> oh, the man cave. I'm sure they, they probably got different yeah. Um, themes. Yeah. Nice down to here. <laughs> and when we go back up to the boat, I'll kick you on. We'll take the boat out for a little bit. Gotta check the gas. Had almost a full tank yesterday. This is called Cypress Creek here. It goes around, goes around our campsite and then back out into the river. And there's our 
boat way up there that we just left. That's our boat. That's where we was at up there, that bar looking place. Cypress Creek. All right, there's the Withlacoochee. Withlacoochee River runs up by our house. And like I said before, I don't know how far south or north it goes, but I do know it goes up into... Hi, how are you? It goes up into um, Georgia. Uh, Spook Bridge actually crosses this river. And Spook Bridge is in Georgia. So like... When this ain't so messy here, you can fish from here. Some went already. Yeah, a couple of them left. There's some on their full hookups. Uh, gas, electric, or gas. Electric, water, and sewer. Mm -hmm. So that you don't have to go to a dump station. Yeah, this is all good. This is, it's yeah, good it's, here. it's full hookups. Yeah, there's, even over in the tent, so. There's know. a cypress tree. That's why Shea Bear calls it kind of thing. <laughs> But and this is nice. <clears throat> nice little swing to look out over the river. I forgot to put my wireless mic on, guys. Sorry. And I was sitting here past couple nights. I would sit right here, cast out there about 50, 60 yards. I was getting some bites. Um, just wasn't catching them. But the water's up so high. I mean, you know, all the fish backs, the fish are back like in the wooded areas. A little pier to walk out on. It's not a dock. But this little picnic table here. This is where Monkey had some fishes. She casts out there. Sometimes we go over there where that lady's standing, and I cast. Oh, I get about 60, 65 yards out just to get in the current so it can bring the current or the current can bring my fishing bait that way. Um, this is where we had our boat sent yesterday. We parked it here. Just uh, I tied off to that root right there and around that tree there and sat here. Nobody had any problems with it. Um, this another picnic table there this is cool this is your fish cleaning station with water got a light up here uh, so you, can, you can clean your fish right here catch and clean if you want there's again the picnic table another swing they've got a nice fire pit here also water to put your fire out fire extinguisher we've got two fire extinguishers and we've got water at ours too these benches are nicer than ours but you know again we're we're camping um, so they got a lot of wood to burn over there and uh, there's some wood to burn here and these these seats are lighted up at night there's lights orange lights you can see the wire there going up to the lights bro right there Little wire there. Uh, there, every one of them's got a little light underneath it, so it doesn't light up bright. It's an orange color, about like that light there. Oh, lost the monkey. I don't know where she went. She said these are a lot nicer to sit on. I'm gonna try it out. Yes, these are nice benches. Ours are just what two by sixes, two by fours, or whatever. But they keep the place well maintained. See, usually there's no water in there. Usually you can walk back in there and stuff, but as you can see, there's water. Now, I'm betting, I didn't realize the water was here. I'd have been fishing in here last night. <laughs> Believe it or not, when the water's high up, high up like it is, uh, the, the fish, they, they'll get back in these little areas. And believe it or not, there's some big fish in here. You might have just seen that one kind of hop over here. So, yeah, this is where you want to get and catch some big catfish. If that's your thing. There's gar in here, too. 
we got alligator gar, I think it is, in this river. We've got mudfish in this river. Uh, snakehead in this river. Oh, there's monkey. She's sitting over there. Oops. Hit the swing. And I think I will go have a seat with her. TV over there. This is cute. Little simulated fireplace under the TV. Yeah. Kitchen hat. Uh, workout equipment. Pool table. There's an aerial view. We are right in here. That's where we're at. Right in this vicinity right here. Yeah, right about there. See, this is when the creek was open. There's the bridge we crossed. And what it does, it comes around and then back into the, over in here, comes back up into the Wetlacoochee. Hey, can we go to that fisherman's um, restaurant by the boat? And dock? I don't know. Oh, that would be cool. Well, this is an old photo, but there's a lot more here now. Pretty nice. Mm -hmm. This is the clubhouse. This is the games. This is all the games it's got. Well, I got play. How much is it? Um, I don't know. Hmm. She's a quarter. No, oh, I gotta find me. I got no She's gotta find herself some change. Oh, I'll have to come later. I ain't got no change. And right out that door there is the, there's some restrooms. Right out this door here is the laundromat. And right out there, you guys see that? There's our little boat. Oh, they play bingo. They have bingo? Yeah. So. Coffee thing and water and little library. Books you can take to read. My little room there's the office. Oh you can get change right there. No, I didn't bring my purse. I have my camera bag, not my purse. So I don't have any change at all. Huh. That's a shame. Oh, you got money? <laughs> You got yeah. money? I got monies. I love you. Can I play? 
Okay. You uh -huh. yelled at me this morning. Huh? That was rough. That was rough falling last Cause night. Because she fell last night because her work taught her to look up. Well, you look you look up with walkers and that, and you don't look yeah. down because when you look down, you don't see okay. where you're going. I get it, but uh, you didn't anyways, have a walker last night. It was dark, night. and they have like a little platform around the fireplace. And, and she was looking up. And I was looking up, and I went. Pew. All them lights. I had a big flashlight. There's lights uh, all the way around there. Yeah. <laughs> you should have seen her. I got to demonstrate this. Oh, you're gonna demonstrate yeah. how I fell. Yeah. Okay. This is how she. This is how she fell. She's walking, looking up, oh. and boom, down she went. Her ass was out. <laughs> she was. <laughs> That's not funny. It is now because you're okay, but she's I was she's okay, but she's I'm sore. Very sore today. I said you hurry. Right? She's like no. I said seriously, hurry. Right? She's like I just want to stay here for a minute. We can exercise when we do some exercise that you're not supposed to do. <laughs> yeah. So, there we go. Well, I got books here we can read. That's nice. That's for the pool table. Very, very nice. It's really cute. Yeah, that's a simulated fireplace underneath the TV. Yeah, we could come in here and just sit and watch TV. I don't like if it was a rainy day and you can do nothing. You know, I'm miserable. And so oh hell! This is what I'm talking about. Oh, they got karaoke. Karaoke machine. Do they do karaoke night? I don't know, but oh, this is. I should nice. have a karaoke night tonight. Be, be comfy. So this is the clubhouse. Very, very nice. Yeah, yeah. It's nice to have a clubhouse. Decorated nice for fall. Yeah, very nice. Pretty. You play movies in here. Mm -hmm. Karaoke. Alright, awesome. Yeah, very cool. So here's some vintage photographs of the place. I guess it used to be called Aloha Lodge. It's now Riverside Lodge. And there's the front of it where they now have the camper with the man on the booth. That's the entrance. Yeah, old boats there. I'm guessing these are from the 60s. Live beaten boats. I believe this is now a seafood restaurant, a little, little tiny, like diner type thing. There's the clubhouse we're in right now. This is right out back, right over here, and um, that's now where they have all that seating and the barbecue grills over here. Our boat is parked right here. You can see how low the water is there. And there. There's a good shot of it there. See, this is where all the chairs are. Barbecue grills over here. And our boat is parked right up against there right now. You can see how far down it's supposed to be. The water usually is. So. And here, that's the dock. You can see they have the boat. They have a boat there. I don't know what they got, what that is back there now, but. This is the fish cleaning station I showed you. And the owner just came in and grabbed a bunch of quarters and put them in for her. Yeah. Didn't she? Yeah. Because I was getting changed. And she went in and said, I got quarters in here and put a whole bunch of quarters in there for her. Yay. So, awesome. Yeah, they're very friendly. Very friendly, yeah. Good people. So, just share some of this with you. Again, the, the children's area here. Pretty neat. You can climb up in there and mess around and slide down and you got your swings and, uh, and parents' places to sit for the parents. Uh, they got cornhole. They actually have two cornhole places. 
If you're in the cornhole, I'm not very good at it, but it is fun to play. So, the adults can play games while the children are playing. Okay. And you are allowed to have alcohol here. You can bring your beer. Yeah, they just want yeah. You, yeah, they just want you to be discreet, you know, don't be running around half naked, drunk and crazy, but you can sit outside and have a beer and, you know, drink your beer and you know, just be discreet about it, which is understandable. So, very pet friendly. That's one of the first things they talk about on their website because a lot of places aren't. And they're like, well, you bring your pet. <laughs> they are pet friendly. See, he's allowed in here, no issues. They, you know, you just gotta clean up after your pet, which is understandable, you should anyway. So, yeah, pretty neat. Deep South. Fisherman's Cove restaurant. We boated right up to the place. Cool little water fountain there. Waterfall, pond, whatever. Pretty bluish green water. Pretty neat. Little baby alligator here. Cool. Of course he's not alive. But our boat is docked right down below there. See, I don't know if you can see the water back there. That's the way we came in. You can look at this. Can you see that? Huh? Oh, it was okay. Yeah, that was good. I had shrimp and shrimp better. Yeah, it wasn't spectacular, but. No, I think it was pricey. It was too pricey for what it was. Yeah. I mean, you know, it wasn't... I mean, it was good, but that was it. Yeah. It wasn't like, uh, you know, I'm going to come back. I mean, if I come back and do if I don't, it's no big deal. Right. Not, you know, for them kind of prices. Right. So, anyway. Mushrooms were good, though. Oh, yeah, they were fabulous. And they were huge. Mm. Like, really big. Like the size of bonsai trees. And juicy. The juice just flowed right out of them. Yeah, it was very good. Mm -hmm. very good. Cool. Yeah. And it was nice that we could go boating and, and come and eat and go yeah. back. We've had a there's, nice little day. There's trees you see right over there and then water oaks. Mm -hmm. You go right back in right in there is where you turn in to go to the campground. Yeah. So, but we boated here so we'd go out that it's a big long channel and then you got to the river and then you come around like this. Yep. So cool, huh? Yeah, very. So, need help? No, I'm not 
Okay, monkey's getting Bruno. So I just thought I'd walk down here, show you this. You guys know what that is? It's one of them big buoys. Not boobies, buoy. From, you see out in the water. There's another one over there. Oh, Bruno's getting in trouble. I hear her saying bad, bad. It's nice out through there. I should have sat out here and ate. I don't know how far it goes up in that area. But more for us to explore later. Not much of a dock. <laughs> I mean, we fit. But that was it. But we're here. But there comes Monkey. And Bruno. Hey guys. So... I thought I would end night two and our final night here. We're going to pack up and go in the morning. Under here where I showed you earlier. Isn't that cool back in there? And I'll show you what I'm doing. I have got the chili heating up. But we're going to cut these sausages up which they're about done. That's Bruno's there. And I'm gonna cut these sausages up and put them in the, uh, in the chili, the leftover chili, which smells fantastic because it's been sitting all night. Go ahead and turn this off. There's Monkey. That's for Bruno's plate. Yeah. That's what it looks like after dark time. Now they got those um, laser lights up in the trees. And they look awesome. I don't know if this camera's picking it up. but Again, there's where we parked the boat. Put it on uh, night vision here. If I can find it. Okay. There we go. So yeah, that's uh so I thought I'd do it. You can see down through there it's pretty. All the lights they got lit up. We got people down here having a campfire, which is right across from our campsites right over there, which we shut all the lights out and stuff. Um, so, this is pretty cool. These lights light up too, but we kind of liked the ambiance here yeah. with just these. Yeah, very nice. So I figured we'd end here because I thought, well, let's do something different, you know? We got access to that grill, let's use it. Mm -hmm. You know, why not, right? Yeah. What do you, what do you rate the place? Oh, between what? Well, one and five. Five, five. being the best. Over yeah. five. Yeah, I'm well, impressed. I'm gonna go to five, yeah. yeah. A five. Oh, I get, it gets five stars for oh. me any day. Yeah. But we was talking about, you know, like before when you know, we would come past and, you know, coming home from, because we had to come this way, come past there every day when I was working over at Fruitland Park. Mm -hmm. So, and we was talking about, one day I had mentioned to her, I said, we need to stop and try that place out. And she's like, it's too close to home. But once she got in here, like she said, you know, it feels like you're 100 miles from the house. Yeah, you don't realize you're that close. You don't realize you're a 10 or 15 minute drive from the house. No. Mm -mm. 15 minutes, I can be pretty close to the house on the boat. Yeah, yeah. So, but if her mom needs something, yeah, we can go over there in 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. If we forgot something, <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah, we if, we to, if we had to, if we had to, yeah. Yeah. And not have to go spend more money on something. Yeah, and there is a dollar have. store that she went to yesterday yeah. to get a cutting board. And I got some drinks. Yeah. And yeah. 
so I mean once you're here it's it's a totally I mean even if we lived across the street once we're here it's a totally different place different atmosphere it's yeah. clean it is so clean for yes. campgrounds the bathrooms are immaculate the whole area the, the just walking around there's not trash laying around even it's our bathroom clean. and the tenting area is yeah. not all muddy i mean i showed them yeah. which i usually don't do a bathroom is right. a bathroom is a bathroom but i thought that was really clean yeah out in the middle of nowhere yeah. and it's clean very clean and the girl asked me this morning if we wanted it clean for, you know did she, yeah, she need said, to clean it and i said no it's fine yeah she said you want me to clean the bathroom yeah. we was like yeah. no it's fine yeah. oh are you sure yeah, yeah. it's fine oh. i mean it is and yeah. um the, the the owners well we talked to her earlier today she gave monkey some quarters i think i mentioned that yeah she just put them in the machine <laughs> she said i got some quarters in here yeah and went and put them in the machine for her to play yeah and but we was down here fishing just yeah. right straight over that way and uh her and her husband the owners stopped by and chit chatted with us for 10 or 15 minutes yeah. talking about fishing and we told them how much we like the place and yeah they're just down to earth just everyday people just like us yeah well i mean they're they're foreign i'm not sure where they're from they i think they might be yugoslavian yeah and, but there. they speak yeah. english yeah. very very well yeah. Yeah. they are very polite caring people yeah yeah they and care. they take good care of these grounds oh yeah they're nice and and all the flowers and everything it's just so relaxing well kept yeah i was more relaxed here than i was at the other camp oh, like we was talking about on her video um that you know the other place it was just you, you try to go down and fish and people pull up in their cars blasting the music and when they wasn't blasting music them kids was blasting rap music and oh yeah so i couldn't film and here all you hear is people laughing talking yeah. kids playing and at one o'clock in the morning it's quiet yeah. i mean you might hear the you know yeah. a couple people chit chatting like last night we heard some people that were they were out talking well they're right yeah they were right yeah. over here they got a fire yeah. going right across from us but i mean you couldn't hear exactly what they were saying you could just hear them talking and laughing i think this is a great and it place was fine for i mean it wasn't loud enough to keep anybody awake by any means no i think this is a great place for people who want to do a big family get together yeah and they could all meet here or something like that and uh yeah monkey had a great idea yeah we're thinking about maybe doing a meet and greet here mm -hmm. we'll rent some tents for people Mm -hmm. We're not we're not going to rent no cabins, no. <laughs> but we will rent tents for any of you campers. We'll have to get together on that later, maybe next summer. Yeah. And we'll do a meet and greet, and we'll have people RSVP. Yeah. So we know they're coming, and we'll rent some tents. Yeah. So, well, the tent fun. the tent spots. You bring yeah. your own tent, and you know bring your own food, but we'll pay for the tent for the spots, and we'll do a meet and greet. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be fun. Yeah, well. Yeah. So. <clears throat> yeah. And you you can rent your boat here, or you can bring a small boat. You have to have a John boat or a canoe or a kayak. What? You know, well. In this. There's river. a pontoon right over there. Yeah. In this river. Yeah. Well, well I think it would be easier. You know, I mean, you could probably put a pontoon right here. Well, there's a pontoon sitting right over there. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I just like small boats because it's I know, so much but fun. they can bring a boat. And, oh yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, you just got to put in across the road, but that's no problem. Right. Gives you a chance to boat. Because yeah. see, tomorrow while she's driving over there, if me and Bruno get the boat a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> but once you're there, they'll they'll find places for you to park your boat. Yeah, they're very accommodating. They they, they told us uh, whatever's convenient for us, just put a sign mm -hmm. that says private. Yeah. On your boat, so nobody takes it. All right. I like that idea. I really do. So special thanks to the to the owners. Yeah. I yeah. mean, not just for being so nice, but you know, for keeping this place going for generations to to enjoy. You yeah. know. Oh yeah. 
I and mean, it's been here since the 60s. There's a gentleman, there's a gentleman that had his kids, they, two little girls out riding their bicycles. They wasn't playing video games, they wasn't on a cell phone. They was riding they their bicycles. Outside, yeah. Enjoying the fresh air and they were riding and bikes around. Over yeah. there's where I showed you earlier, just on the other side of that building over there is the play area. And there was, it was full. The playground yeah. was full of kids outside mm -hmm. playing. You can hear them laughing and joking. And that's what camping to me is all about. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so this place is awesome. Yeah. Next Five time I'm bringing my marshmallows. I couldn't get any the other day. They were all sold out. Yeah. <laughs> and the fire pit down here, it says, Welcome to the community fire pit where friends and marshmallows get toasted. Yeah. <laughs> that's cute. So I'm going to call it a night for tonight. Well, we're not done, but I might kick you back on later before I go to bed. But I just kind of wanted to throw this in here because it was very, very nice. It was nice having an island to ourselves. Oh, great. But I wouldn't have any problems with neighbors. Yeah. You know. Okay. No, I wouldn't have any problems because... You know, we're people, people. Yeah. Because we're used to, you know, talking our, to others. And like in her field and my field, yeah. we have to talk to people. Yeah. There's no way around it. So we got used to that over the years, and yeah. we can talk to people. And I wouldn't have had any problems with any neighbors. But it was nice that we did have the island to ourselves. Yeah. But we'll we'll get with you guys, and then maybe if if you guys want to, let me know who's interested and who might come. Yeah. Then we'll make it a plan. Mm -hmm. And we'll reserve some spots yeah. next summer, mm -hmm. way ahead of time, and then we'll meet up and we'll all have a good time. There you go. Yep. All right. So anyway, I'm gonna get Monkey's food Yay. and Bruno's food, and, and uh, I'm a, I'll, I'll I'll kick you back on here shortly. Okay, guys. I just had to do it. Yep. Do I have a light out there? Light where? On that back seat, I got a light out. Yep. I'll go fix that. Ready? Okay guys, so one more clip for the night, I guess. Hey. We went and played ping pong, as you saw. And I uh, eat his butt too. He just didn't want to show it. Ah! So, <laughs> anyway, she said, you want to get some wood and have a fire? I'm like, I don't care, it's up to you. She said, but I like a fire and it's my last night here. So I got horn swoggled <laughs> into uh, building a fire. Yeah. So I built this fire. Degrees out too. <laughs> yeah, I built this fire with a spark. So that's okay. Looks pretty. Yep. Now when this burns down, I'm gonna go to bed. Yep. See you guys in the morning. We got one over there already out. Mm -hmm. His tummy's full. Yeah, he ate a big old sausage. Mm -hmm. That one I showed you guys on the grill, I said that's Bruno's. He ate that whole thing. So. And he had bacon and eggs. <laughs> well, he had bacon and eggs when we got off the boat because he didn't eat his breakfast because he was too excited to get on the boat. But when we come back, I said, Bruno, eat your breakfast. And he went over and ate his breakfast, didn't he? Yeah. It was after lunch, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was 
was funny. All right, guys, we'll see you in the morning. Okay, guys, day three. We're getting ready to pack up. Monkey's finishing her coffee. And we're going to stroll out of here. Yeah. She's bummed. But she's already... <laughs> She's already. We need to find a haunted campground. <laughs> She's already gearing up for the next trip. Now we're talking about there's a hotel over in Crystal River. Yeah. We're just talking about we might try to get in. We're gonna. I'm gonna check it out when we get home. We might try to get in there and uh, see about what's going on there for Halloween. Yeah and take her mom because her mom sees things and hears things that we don't right and she's not crazy she's getting up there in years but she ain't crazy no, no. Uh, we did an interview with her if you guys remember that um my mom's always seen things always yeah her whole life so she ain't making this stuff up. no and usually if someone's making it up they'll say oh you know they talk to me and tell me stuff mm -hmm. she said they won't talk to her she Bruno just <laughs> fell off the damn bench. She, but she said, but she said they'll, uh, she'll see them. They'll come to her, but they they don't say anything. So yeah, yeah. So and she said not all the time, but sometimes. Yeah. So we want to take her. We want to get her out anyway. We want to take her take her to St. Pete. Yeah. Really nice motel down there, but uh, some of the reviews were <laughs> really bad. You can't park. You got to park down the street and walk up because yeah. there's no valet. And I guess they're doing some remodeling, so that was, you know, so it was just for $300 a night. Yeah, if I'm going to spend that kind of money, I want it perfect. <laughs> or know. no, it was 400 bucks a night. And I didn't want to have any problems. Yeah, it was 400 bucks a night, so with taxes and, and all the other fees, because you got resort fees down here, which is kind of weird that they charge you a resort fee. I mean, isn't that what you're paying for to begin with? Right. But it was going to be almost a thousand dollars for two nights. So yeah. And we want to do something nice for her mom because we don't know how long she's got, you know. So, but we just couldn't see paying <laughs> if we, you know, if it had great reviews, you know, we don't mind paying for something if it's worth it. But we decided to shy away from that. So we're going to try this Crystal River. I'm going to check check it out, and we're going to see if I can get us booked for a couple days there. Uh, yeah. And we'll see what's happening there. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned. I'll let you know this week what's what's going on because uh, this coming weekend's Halloween, ain't it? Is it really? Is it that fast? Oh my god! What is today? The twenty fifth or something? Yeah. So we may not even be able to get in. A hawk. Look at him. You guys see him? I see him. What? He's the other way though. Yeah, he's. Oh, pointing. there he is. Is that a hawk or an owl? It's not an owl. No, you uh -huh. sure? Yeah, his beak is out. Let me see if I can get him here real quick. Hope he don't shit on me. That's what I just said. Whoa! There he goes. I think so. Yeah, it's a hawk. I hope you got that. I think you might have been after Bruno. <laughs> you think? I don't know. They go after Bruno's size, though. Yeah. So anyway, we're going to try to do that. we got to get packed up. I'm going to go put the trailer on the truck for Monkey. She's going to head over to the ramp. Yeah. And me and Bruno's going to be over there in a couple hours. All right. <laughs> I'll take a nap. <laughs> but and we're gonna get home, unload, and so we had a couple fatalities. We did. Yeah. What? The lens. And that one light wasn't working in the boat last night, so I went yeah. over to fix it, and like three more went out, so I quit messing with it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you had a bad day yesterday. It was. Really. It was horrible, man. So, mm -hmm. but all in all, it was a great time. Yeah. Monkey had a lot of fun. Yep, yesterday was my best day. 
out yeah. of all of it. Yeah, it was a fun. Well, she likes going back in them little coves. That's why she likes these small boats. Yeah. If we get a bigger boat, you can't really get back into them. So she likes these small boats. So uh, you guys saw some footage of that, and she's going to have some awesome footage too. So that being said, thanks for joining us, guys. Thanks for coming along on our little camping adventure. And again, this place two thumbs up, five stars for me. What about you? This place? Oh yeah, it's five. Five stars? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Mhm. Mm I come back, and I would recommend it. Oh highly. yeah, we'll yeah we'll definitely be back. So yeah. Stay tuned for some work. We're gonna do some work on the boat here yeah. real soon. Paint it. And Stay at home for a little bit. Get some stuff done. Yeah. Except for the haunted thing, if we can do that, that would be cool. Well, we're going to do something. Yeah, I'd like to do yeah. something on Saturday. <coughs> if we oh, can. All right, I'll check it out and we'll see. Yeah, that would be fun. I thought, if I remember right, when we checked it for your uncle, it was pretty reasonable rates. Yeah, I think I couldn't remember if it's a two-day minimum, though, or they were booked. It was not one of the other. I thought they were booked, but and, uh, I'll check it out. Because he yeah. was here for a week wasn't he yeah yeah so yeah. i don't think that would have bother, bothered him and they had a uh, uh, free breakfast i believe yeah yeah something like that all right guys so again the the place is awesome yeah riverside lodge in yeah. Renes, florida um come and, check them out and i'm hoping that maybe we can do this youtube thing next year that would be fun yeah if i if i if we get some people wanting right. to hang out or yeah. at least come for a day you know, because we got to pay for guests, but that's okay. Um, wow. We'll we'll do a hangout here. Because we could do the whole tent thing. Yeah. And there's four where you four where you can put tents. Yeah. So. And um, you know, and we can have a cookout here and everything. You know, so it'd be really a blast, I think. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be a lot of fun. That was your idea. A very good idea. Yeah. I cool. think it'd be cool. Yeah. And get together and meet some people that we see yeah. on the videos yeah help each other out yeah all right guys thanks for watching again this place is beautiful and monkey I guess says she's out for now and shea bear the myth the man legend i'm gone for now got a lot of stuff to do yeah. we got to get packing it's going to rain yeah it's, it's going to rain so we'll see y'all soon bye bye guys and take care bye